Well, hey there, everyone. Welcome to this early release look at the GoWell DLC that is coming soon to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, this is due to release on March 21st, and it is currently on sale for 10% off at the Farming Simulator website. If you'd like to save a little bit of money, you can go over there and make the purchase. Uh, if you do, I'd appreciate it if you'd use my partner code, Mighty Mike, all one word. If you have the year two season pass, it's included, so you'll be able to download that on March 21st at no cost. I would like to thank Nitrato servers for giving me early access to this DLC. I also like to thank Giants Software for allowing early access as well. So as you can see, this pack contains a number of items, all related to bailing. Uh, there's no hiding that. This is a bailing DLC, but there are a few things that are pretty neat we'll take a look at that here in just a few moments i do have to say right off just looking at some of this equipment it is very very detailed um they have done a really good job at modeling this i mean you can see all of the hydraulic apparatus there on the front looks very very nice uh the rollers up there I mean, look at it. It looks really good. Uh, there's even control panels on the sides. Uh, even has lights in the front and rear to help illuminate. Chains shown. I mean, it, it just it looks really good. They have done a fantastic job modeling this equipment. Switches, stop switches, all kinds of things. Looks really good. So. First things first, we are going to get to using some of the equipment, but let's hop over and grab a baler because we need to make some bales. And you see across the way, I do have a field that has been mowed. So we're going to uh, use that to make some bales and then we'll take a look at how everything works and interacts with each other. Uh, first machine we're going to use is this baler here. And we're going to go ahead and pull it out here into the field. And I will show you the uh, spec sheets or the store info on this as we go along. Because there are some interesting things to point out. And we will do that. Oh, let's look at this real quick. The lights. You see there are lights around the back of the beller along the front just to illuminate at night. Now, we do have plenty of daylight here. But a lot of lighting you see up there at the top. Very cool very cool they've done a great job you got blinkers look at that that's a that's a neat blinker and of course you got your brake lights reverse lights and your running lights everything is very well done so real quick let's go ahead and take a look at the store menu so we're here in the store we are at the uh, go well pack and uh the baler that we are currently hooked to is this one here's the g1f125 combi now they are both g1f125 balers this one here just has the combi added. 96.5 is the uh, price. And uh, just a couple options that you have with this baler. Uh, mainly back here on the wrapper, you have a flipper that will roll the bell on its side or on its end, I guess. And then you can also add the uh, silage additive tank to the front there. Foil color, got a couple options there. And that is basically it. No tire options or anything like that. $98,500. And it only does 125 centimeter bales. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it operates. I'm going to turn the hood back on here. We have the F1 menu open. Uh, there are really no options to this and using it, but there is one. And you can change the height of the hitch, which will come in really handy on different tractors. As uh, as you know, some of the hitches can be kind of high, and some are even lower than that. So uh, that is a really good feature. So we have gone ahead and engaged the beller. And it's rolling along about 10, 11 miles an hour. Looks like 11. And it is nearly done with our first bell. 
and the uh, carrier slides up underneath, grabs the bell, pulls it back out. The wrapper will take care of business and then it will drop it out. As a matter of fact, let me turn on the automatic drop. And there we go. Let's do one more. And I guess I could have been rolling. <laughs> I didn't need to stop there while that was wrapping up. We'll let that one pull back and then we'll go ahead and continue on. Yeah, now we can roll on and it will wrap as we continue to make our next spell. Now I did uh, cut this field with the big crone mower and it does appear that it will make a bell just about the time it unwraps one as you can see there. So it works out pretty good as far as timing. So we'll let that one get wrapped up. We'll turn the baler off. The strobe lights look good on the back. Everything looks good. I like this. A lot of detail. They've done a great job on it. So I'm going to disconnect from this baler because we don't need to make a whole bunch of wrapped bales. And we're going to head on back over here and grab the other baler. We'll get that out to the field. All right, we're out here to the field with the other baler. And uh, same thing. We do have the hydraulic hitch that you can adjust. And uh, that is about it. So same thing. Turn on the baler. Lower the pickup. Before we get started, let's take a look at the shop menu. So this is the baler here. Uh, 59.5 so quite a bit cheaper than the other one of course it doesn't wrap uh, but it's I mean, it's just fantastically detailed I mean that that is really good looking they've done a fantastic job on that a couple tire choices here with the Trello Borgers you got wide or normal same thing with the BKT and the Betterson Betterstein wide or wider and same thing, only makes 125 centimeter bells. So let's give it a shot. Now I'm using the round beller extension mod so it does stop the tractor. Uh, if you don't stop, of course, it will continue moving along and you'll miss a bunch of grass but it does the job it's a baler <laughs> and it bails the uh, ejection is fairly quick it opens and closes pops out the bell rather rather quickly I like that some of the bailers are pretty slow but this one operates pretty quick so I do like that You don't have to sit around and wait a whole lot of time for that to cycle. So I'm going to go ahead and make up a couple rows here and then we'll be right back. All right, we're back over here at the shop area and we're not going to we're not going to use all the wrappers. Uh, this one here in the middle is a pretty standard wrapper. Uh, look, it looks good. It's it's very well done but it functions just like the wrappers we have in game so I'm not going to demo it just in the essence of time but let's go ahead and take a look at it in the in the shop menu so this is the wrapper here's the G5020 it's $27,000 you can get it with the flipper on the back Trelleborg standard or wide yeah that was just a so yeah two two wheel options three wheel options you got your foil options, and that is it. Uh, but it does wrap 125 to 150 centimeter bells. Looks nice. But we're going to move on to this other one. Uh, this one here is the GoWell G1015. It's $16,000. Uh, so rather economical. And what this does is actually mounts to a front loader or a telehandler, something like that. It wraps 125 to 150 centimeter bells. Uh, it has just a couple options. Uh, you can have it like this and dig it down in the dirt, or you can add a support roller just to keep it off the ground a bit, your framework anyway. 
And then attacher type, it can be attached to either a three point or a front loader or a telehandler. So you have a few options there. And then of course your foil color, 16.5, pretty cheap wrapper. It's actually quite a bit cheaper than this tow behind model. So let's take a look at how it operates. Uh, that, that is the uh, wrapper right there. So there's really not a whole lot to it, uh, but again, very detailed. I mean, even like the control panel over here on the side, let's see if I can get where I can stand. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's hook it up, then I'll show it to you. So I do have this one set up for a telehandler attachment. So we can get that moved out there and then we will take a little peek around it. I mean, it is just, it's very nicely done. Even the uh, decals look great. All right, let's head on over to the field and we'll put this one to use and show you how it works. And I do have the F1 menu open just so you can see what kind of options we have. Uh, we do have the tool selected and we can unfold it. And you see the arms fold out. Uh, we have turn on automatic drop and that is it. Everything else has to do with the telehandler. Now I did see another content creator a demo in this and they actually had an option to tip the bell out the end. I don't have that option. I've tried this with a front loader. Just in case the telehandler options were causing an issue and I am not able to find that. So I'm not sure if potentially something has changed with the, uh, the piece of equipment. I don't know, but, oh, wait a minute. Well, I have it now. I didn't have it before. Actually, so I take all of that back. We can actually unload this on its end, but I'm gonna show you how to unload it. Uh, normally, you would just uh, hit it there. It drops down to the ground and you're good to go. So that works out really well. One thing I do like about this is Maybe you're bailing a, a field that's kind of close to your barn and you don't want to have to trailer the, the uh, bales back or, you know, stay out in the field, load them onto a trailer, bring the trailer back to your barn and then have to unload them again. You could effectively go grab this bell as you're driving back, it's wrapping, and then you just stack it where you want it. So let's see if we have this. So in the F1 menu, if I open it back up, it says unload round bell on end. So let's see what happens if I could do that. Uh, it is not working. Yep, I think my, uh, because I'm in a telehandler, the, we have a, uh, a conflict with, with that feature. Let me look, let me look in the gamepad controls here real quick to see if we have anything for the go well pack oh there we go unload round bell on end so right bumper and x would be what would change that so let's give that a shot hey that may nope that doesn't work because that <laughs> that kills the engine uh let's try this something different here let's see let me try something there. Right bumper, right stick. And let's save and see what happens. Right bumper, right stick. That may have done it. it. May have done it. Let's see what happens here. So to unload it, that did not do it. Well, <laughs> let me go grab one on the front loader and see if we can get it to work. Okay, so I've got a front loader here with the wrapper, and as you can see, we have the control Y option, and that should have worked. Yep, there you go. It tipped it on its end, so that works out. Yeah, this one does not have the steering, so there's actually a controls conflict. I'm not sure. Giants may have to look at that, especially the one with the uh, telehandler, because that 
could cause some problems. But the nice thing about that is you can now stack them up if you wanted to uh, raise this up a bit. Let's see. Raise it up and then... Uh, do we have to do that option every time? It looks like we do. So control Y again. And it's going to tip it down. Look at that. I nailed it. <laughs> but you could do some stacking. I mean, you could even go on up a little higher. Stack it maybe three high. Depends on what you're using for the uh, front loader. So this one works out really, really good. I like this one. This is probably one of my favorite pieces of the uh, pack. I, I do like the uh, flexibility of being able to do the uh, wrapping and moving of the bell all at the same time. So we're going to run over here real quick and grab another wrapper and we're going to take a look at it. Uh, we do have the mass here with the front loader and we're going to go ahead and hook up to the bell grabs and I'm going to go ahead and grab them both. But we're not going to use the square beller. I'm just going to demo it because we don't have any square bells out. So you see it is attached. Let's see if I can raise this loader up out of the way a bit. And there we go. So it is attached here. This is for square bells. And we'll take a look at it here in the menu. It is the Bell Handler BTGQU. $2,800. And the only options you have is to have the attacher type change from a three-point or front loader to a telehandler. And that is it. So you see it is uh, selected there. You do have an option while it's connected to the three point to raise it and lower it pretty decent range of motion and then you can also tilt it down and up and then you also have your spread there on the bars open and close that so it works out pretty good uh, if you're using square bells and then of course you can also attach it to a front loader or telehandler and that would offer you much more flexibility but if you hadn't got to that point in your playthrough yet maybe that would be enough to work for you so let's run over here I'm going to show you how the bell grab works okay so I've grabbed the wrapper that I wanted to demo and uh, this one here is believe it or not a stationary wrapper uh, if we take a look at it uh, very nicely detailed but it doesn't pick up the uh, bells. You have to load them into it. So, uh, the first things first, if you want to unfold it. Oh, can't do that. It has to be detached from the tractor. So let's move that away there. So now if you walk up to it, you get some options here. Unfold. You can turn on the drop. And then over here you've got lights. So the lights are actually pretty good on it. I do like the lights. And then uh, let's unfold it. So it lowered it down. The engine fires up. And <laughs> it almost looks like a race car. With the uh, wheels like that. But anyhow it is fired up and ready to go. So we are going to. Jump back in our tractor. And open up our bell grab. Let's just nudge that. <laughs> over a bit so we can get it straightened up there you go doesn't matter which side you load it uh, I think it loads a little better from the other side but it doesn't matter it will accept the bells from either direction and let's go ahead and grab another bell here Just barely have that one. Let's see if it rides. It is. So you notice that one did not unload. It's because I didn't have the automatic unload on. So let's, uh, you can either manually unload it or turn on the automatic drop. There we go with the lights. 
All right, so we can load up another bell in here. There we go. And it'll wrap it up. I'm going to get over here on the other side and take a look. And you notice it is not unloading because if we get up here close and try to unload it, it says the drop area is blocked by another object, which is that bell. So let me actually turn on the uh, automatic drop. We're going to get that message. But if we come along here and grab the other bell. There we go. It will drop out and uh, just bell in, bell out. Uh, we did not look at this in the menu, so let's go ahead and do that. So this is the uh, G4010Q Profi, uh, $52,000, no options on it other than changing the foil color. Uh, it does 125 centimeter to 150 centimeter round bells, but notice it also does 180 centimeter square bells now i'm not going to demo that it's just wrapping another bell but i have tried it and it does work so we've looked at the wrappers the bellers and the bell pickups so now let's look at these two down here now i do want to say these machines are basically the same with one slight difference so uh there's really only one difference to it, and we're going to look at that in the shop menu. Uh, they're beast of machines, but they only need 120 horsepower to operate. But they are these two machines down here. It's the LT Master F115 and then the Vario Master V140. Uh, what's that, about a $19,500 $19, difference in the two machines? The only difference between the two is the bells that they make, the size bells. So the smaller of the machines, if you want to say that, does 125 centimeter bells, round bells. Its capacity in the uh, tank or the hopper is 20,000. 20,000 in that one. But it also makes 150 centimeter bells. So if you want to make a little bit bigger bell, you're going to have to use the uh, more expensive machine. So we'll hop in here. They both have the exact same options uh, on the wrapper design, which is up here on the front. You either have the standard wrapper, which is just going to eject the bell out, or you also have one option with a turner. So either way you want it to happen. Uh, you can add the silage additive tank, which it adds it back here on the bottom. And then of course your foil color, you can adjust. So. That is the only options on both of those machines. Let's hop out here and we're gonna hook up to one of them. As a matter of fact, let's hook up to the larger machine and we're gonna take it down because I am going to load it with some corn shaft. Now, these machines can do your standard materials, grass, hay, straw, but you can also put shaft in and cut sugar beets and TMR. So we're going to pull this down here beside the field. I'm going to go grab a uh, chopper and a trailer and we're going to get this thing loaded up and uh, see how it performs. All right, we have uh, about a half a trailer load of corn chaff. So first thing we need to do is hop to the tractor. Now, one thing I do want to mention is this must stay connected in order to operate. So you have a couple things here. You can fully unfold it and then extend the draw bar. So we're going to go ahead and extend the draw bar first. That just swings it over, gets everything out of the way, and then we're going to unfold it. You see, there are so many animations that's happening. I mean, it is amazing. Ladders folding out. The uh, hopper coming down is going to unfold. All kinds of things happening <laughs> and unfolding. Uh, it's worth just doing that a couple times to catch all of the different animations. It's really neat. 
Uh, so this thing does hold 20,000 liters. And if you come up to the baler, do you see there's some control panels and uh, you actually can do some things from outside the baler. You see we can change the bell size, uh, 125 to 150. We can fold the baler, turn it on, reset the counter, all kinds of things. Turn off the automatic drop. And you do see there is a little graphic there in the help menu that has some information and that will actually be animated once we get going. So let's see, we need to turn on the baler. Let's do that. All right, it is on. Boy, I didn't even notice that before. Check out that camera. Now I know that is probably not functional, but that looks really cool. I'm telling you, the detail on these bellers is phenomenal. I mean, even the product, I mean, look at that. Let me zoom in on that. I mean, check that out. The product information tag. The, the uh, decals above the knobs. I mean, that is some great detail, folks. The gauges, everything looks great. I am very, very, very detailed. I'm actually quite impressed with some of the details. All right, so now we have it running. We're going to go on back here, hop in the uh, JCB and, and unload some of this shaft. Now, this thing, like I said, will wrap cut sugar beets, uh, TMR as well. But we're only going to do the shaft. So we're going to back in. You see we do get the uh, info graphic that comes up in the help menu. So let's run back here while it's loading up. You see it loads in there. It's going up the ramp. And then you see in the graphic up at the top, the bell is turning. And it's almost to a 3,500, 4,000. Let's see what it'll go to. 5,000 liters maybe? 6,000? And then now you see the carrier has slid underneath the bell. And it is wrapping. And there's another bell already processing as well. So that is pretty neat. Now this thing should pop out on its own. Yep, we got the turner on that. Now the next bell is almost ready. So I tell you, if you had a lot of loose material stored up like if you used a forage wagon to pick up things or like this you're you're cutting shaft and instead of putting it in a bunker or a fermenting silo you could wrap the bells now with this one yeah so it's, this one's done but we're getting the same error that the uh, drop area is blocked so i do have the massey down here we'll hop in and go ahead and pick that bell up And we move, as soon as we move it out of the way, the other one will roll out and it will go ahead and grab the other bell and start wrapping it as well. And it will just continue rinse and repeat until the tank is empty. Oh, I didn't quite get that. Now this is where I think the uh, bell flipper comes in handy because it flips the bell on their side. You could grab them, I think grab them just a little bit easier when they're oriented this way. But there you go. I mean, it is fast as you can grab them out of there. It is making bells. Uh, so this could be handy if you were near your barn and you wanted to go ahead and make your bells up there and just grab them and stack them in the barn. Might save a lot of uh, handling of the bells trying to get them out of the field and everything. So that works out really well. Um, I'm kind of thinking an auto load trailer sitting beside right about here should grab those right out. That could be the ticket, folks. <laughs> so certainly, I hope you enjoyed the early preview of this Go Oil Pack. I know a lot of folks are out there making vids about it, uh, but hopefully you enjoyed my video. And uh, if you did, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up button. If you got a comment, go ahead and leave that down below. I do appreciate each of you, and I hope you have a great day.